So the fucking, uh, so like, I saw the new fucking trailer for like, the new Ratchet and Clank. It looks like fucking shit. Okay, it's so like, um, the only Ratchet and Clank media that I'd ever did anything with, I played Ratchet and Clank all for one. I was like, fucking seven, I think, ten. Oh my god. I, I didn't know what it was. My big brother did. You know, he's older than me. He, he knew what the game was. And then I played like a demo of like Crack and Time. That was it. <laughs> um, so one day, you know, I'm just I'm just I'm browsing on YouTube. The coronavirus has stopped me from doing anything. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna pay for the games. <laughs> it is so I'm just gonna watch someone else play. And you know, so I watch the entire series. All the old pixelated games. I watch them all. I watch somebody just play through them all. And uh so <laughs> So what I fucking notice is um in Ratchet and Clank fucking one. So like I'm not gonna use any clips and shit. Because I just don't wanna get copyrighted. Plus I'm, just, I'm really lazy. I just, I just wanna get this out right now. So like after watching Ratchet and Clank one and then two and then the third one was like the third one was wasn't that whenever Tachyon came or something? Point is, I know, I know for certain. In the second one, there was like a girl, cat, thing, whatever Ratchet fucking is. You know. And <laughs> throughout the rest of the Ratchet and Clank series, they act like she doesn't exist. And then like this other fucking wall box comes into this shit. Like the Ratchet and Clank shit became stale. Like, like let's say that I actually <laughs> made the first game. Or that... I mean, like, my brother stopped talking about it. Like, like he didn't even know that All For One was a thing until I just downloaded it. He was, he was like, oh my god, it's Ratchet and Clank. I was like, what the fuck's Ratchet and Clank? Oh yeah, it's the game I'm playing, but what, there's more than one game? Um, I just... What I realized is that <laughs> the games became so stale. Like, whenever they have the crack and the time and stuff, I was like, Clank's right, you can't use the time machine because it's not a time machine or whatever. But whenever they were talking about the Dimensionator, the Dimensionator doesn't do shit. Because into the Nexus, they use the Dimensionator, and it doesn't fucking tear over in the universe. And then, like, Clank asks fucking Ratchet, Hey, you know what? If you had the Dimensionator, would you go to the Lombaxes? And then Ratchet's like, nah, I got a family here. I'm just, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. In real life, no. No one would do that. It's like, it reminds me of whenever Goku, like, fucking Frieza says, I killed Bardock, your dad. And the Goku's like, eh, I don't care. You know, I mean, I'll just kill my brother and... Everyone else, but I'll, I'll leave fucking Vegeta alive, you know, cause... I am not excited for this new game. At all. Like, after they made up a fuck- After, after they remade the first Ratchet and Clank, then they made up a goddamn movie out of it? Mm. That, that was the nail in the coffin. That was, that was like, legit. The last anything that you would see about Ratchet and Clank. And, but then... But then... Some fucking miracle. Their game's gonna be on the PS5. The thing we've all been waiting. Okay, well, like to be honest, I thought after they made it the PS4, they didn't, like it's been like what seven years since. <laughs> hey, I guess the times are changing. Um, the trailer looked like shit. So like, legit, my friend said, "Hey, dude, they did a live stream on PS5 or something." And they're like, "Hey, dude, there's a new fucking Sackboy little bit kind of thing." I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I saw the fucking trailer for this fucking new Sackboy game. That now that I'm waiting for that. Mhm. Mm but Ratchet and Clank. What? <laughs> are you, like, fucking shitting me? That fucking shit's done. Over with. What, what else are they gonna do? Like, the gameplay, the most of the game is pretty much the same, simple, fucking switch your weapons and shit. You know, it's just... It became stale and boring. And as I said, it's like either... <laughs> either the people who made up the games legit forgot that they made up a girl cat thing, the whatever. And like the trailer just looks so stupid. It's gonna be them jumping through universes. It's basically fan base. The it's basically Ratchet and Clank fan base. The game basically just going into alternate universes and shit. <laughs> it's just, um, I just like the games. They were like. I like All For One a lot more than most any other fucking Ratchet Clank game, even though, you know, can't really say that. I haven't played any other game except for Ratchet and Clank All For One and the demo of Ratchet and Clank to Crack in Time or something like that. So I can't really say anything. 
But what I can say is this. This game gonna suck. Um, I don't know if anyone's really gonna be hyped for it. I mean, most people, like I said, like, like after they made it that movie, it was just the nail in the coffin. People were so disappointed. It wasn't even garbage. It was just, it was so mad. No one even cared. It was just so mad. No one even cared. So, like, um, Jesus. What am I talking about? Why, why do we even talk about this shit? Like, I, like, like, I hardly even care about much of things. Most of the time, I just watch it, because I'm like, in the future, I'll just, I don't know, animate it or something. Or maybe this will be good memories while I'm here stuck, you know, with the coronavirus. But, like, after watching all the games, <laughs> it's the same. They're pretty much the same. And this game just gonna fucking suck. But, um, you know. Why did I make this one? Just at the end of the video, fucking.